Ruse fights for King Rob Stark in his decisive victory at the Battle of Oxcross. The following morning Ruse reports that they killed five Lannister men for every casualty they suffered. He expresses concern over the volume of prisoners they have taken, saying that they are struggling to feed their own men. Rob insists that the prisoners be treated well and rejects Ruse's suggestion that they torture the officers, reminding him that the Bolton's traditional practice of flaying their enemies is outlawed in the north. Ruse warns Rob that the high road is pretty but difficult. Rob counters that he is treating his prisoners as he hopes the Lannisters will treat his sisters. They come across a nurse, Talisa Miger, and a silent sister treating a wounded Lannister soldier. The healer is preparing to amputate his leg to prevent a wound infection spreading. The soldier is begging her not to proceed but she insists on the necessity of amputation. Ruse criticizes her spending time on the Lannister soldiers and she retorts that the Northmen are not her men. Rob helps to restrain the wounded man as she saws off his lower leg. He later brings Rob and Caitlin Stark news of Winterfell's fall at the hands of the turncloak Theon Greyjoy. He reports that there is no news of Rob's brothers, but that Esser Roderick Castle had been killed. An enraged Rob declares that he must return north to retake his castle and save his brothers, but Ruse counters that they have the Lannisters on the retreat, and must continue their offensive. He tells the king that he can have his bastard son, Ramsay Snow, muster several hundred men to retake Winterfell. Rob relents, but orders that the safety of his brothers is paramount. Rob insists that Theon must be brought to him alive so he can inquire as to why he betrayed the North, and so that Rob can execute him personally, whilst all other Ironborn can be offered pardons. After the Battle of the Yellow Fork Rob's bannermen gathered to hear Queen Regent Cersei Lannister's rejection of their peace terms. They complain that the prison cells are overflowing. Rob leaves the camp with a small force to negotiate the surrender of the crag. Caitlin releases Jamie Lannister, enraging Rob and his bannermen and resulting in her being placed under guard. Ruse meets with Rob to discuss the situation of Winterfell. Rob details a plan to offer mercy to Theon's men so that they will abandon him allowing them to retake the castle with minimal bloodshed. Ruse is confident that it will work. Their discussion is interrupted by Talisa and Ruse leaves them alone.